My name is Beth Citron. I'm an assistant curator at the museum, and I organize the modern and contemporary art exhibitions here. When we were thinking about the artist who really embraced and embodied the idea of traversing boundaries between our cultural context in New York and India and the Himalayas, that artist was Francesco Clemente, and we were really pleased when he agreed not only to have an exhibition with us to celebrate the start of our second decade, but also to very fully embrace the programming and the life of the museum during the run of the exhibition. It's the first museum exhibition dedicated exclusively to Clemente's India work. We're not standing in a white cube gallery. We've transformed the space into a metaphorical expression of an Indian temple, which resonates with the spiritual dimensions of Clemente's practice. Francesco Clemente was born in 1952 in Naples, Italy, which means that he came of age during a kind of psychedelic moment when Italy was also quite fractured politically and socially, which inspired him to become an artist as a way to avoid becoming part of the social and economic structures that were otherwise available and India came on his horizon as a way to get away from Italy. I had the opportunity to visit with Clemente in Jodhpur in March of this past year where he works in a tent factory as he's been, been producing a series of large-scale tents, painted tents, over the course of the past couple of years. And specifically for this exhibition, he created four new sculptures, each of which are positioned on a cast metal base, which is called a gora in Hindi, which is simply something that has four legs and a top. It's also the word for horse. One of the sculptures on view I was quite curious. It was a pink painted trunk with a partial view of a moon on the side of it. And on top of that was a cast metal cassette player with a copper patina. I first asked Clemente about the pink trunk because you very commonly see green trunks across India. And he said that he had always been fascinated by trunks and he chose this trunk. He searched for this pink trunk because he'd been looking at this particular uh, pink Rajasthani sandstone from the very specific region where he's working. It showed the depth of his engagement with these very local sites in India and his deep knowledge of local materials, mediums, and the visual landscape that he works in. The audio guide for, for this exhibition is uh, fairly unusual and we are very excited and honored to um, to have had Salman Rushdie's participation. Salman Rushdie and, and Francesco Clemente are longtime friends and have uh, over the years collaborated. We asked Rushdie to uh, choose a selection from, from his work, from his writing, um, that he felt resonated with uh, Clemente's work. The passage that he, that he reads and that you can listen to as you uh, make your way through the exhibition is from his book, The Moor's Last Sigh, which uh, is a fictional account of an artist in India who's working, a painter in India, um, working after independence. As you can see from this exhibition and the others on view, we don't shy away from the big questions of life, love, sex, and mortality. And we hope that our visitors will engage in those questions with us this year.